Alright, today we are talking about uh, more buzz switches. Buzz switches are odd. They use a flaw in the game. Now, how I like to conduct power to a buzz switch is uh, using this method here. When you have a torch underneath a block, it'll share power like that. When the block is removed, power goes out. Uh, you can use that for a lot of different things. But here we are using it for a blood switch. Okay, that's a regular blood switch. Now, to do a <coughs> T flip flop blood switch, we got to be a bit more creative. Again, like the ones that are uh, horizontal, you have to send it to a kitty corner block. And for that, you can take that relay out. And it stays on. And there you have a T flip flop. The other way you can do it, um, with the piston facing up, is like this. And that's just a standard bud switch. I haven't figured out how to get the piston facing up to act like a T flip flop. And that works on the principle that if you have a powered block, you can pull power out of that block in whatever direction you want. Right here. And it goes and turns the lights off. The, and that causes it to pulse. Now over here, we have a T flip flop bud switch. These two switches are identical. We're again going to the uh, the block directly behind the piston. Block directly behind the piston. And this one acts like a standard blood switch and this one acts like a Tifa flop now do you know what the only difference to this one is? this block right here I thought this was extremely weird. I don't know not what Notch was thinking when he designed the piston. Oh, you don't need that red cell there. Standard blood switch. T flip flop. So, well. That's uh, my latest episode on bud switches, and we'll see you next time with probably my next way of utilizing this vertical bud switch I just invented. <laughs>